ました。Good afternoon and welcome. I was meant to meet Vanessa here, but wouldn't have a clue where she is. Where have you been? Hi, Chase. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. I went with Nicole Burgess from the Whakatane District Council to White Island. What an amazing experience to walk on that moonlike island. It was awesome. But we're here to talk about 4x4 driving. Yeah, we're going to cross and talk to Paul Taylor. He was the trial convener for the Whakatane event. It is a club event, um, and, and thanks to the whole club, everyone in the club has pitched in, and that's what's made the whole job, at the end of the day, quite easy. This is what we've got here to show you, because uh, it's been 12 months in the making this project. We were out here six months ago, looking at where we could put hazards. Let's go to the commentary box and check out the action. Okay, here's a one off Whakatani, and here's Graham Kingston and Chris Kingston. F-Class Toyota Land Cruiser. Cool sprung model. Yeah, he's heading along the bottom here and you've got to turn hard left and up a really gnarly. Oh man, he's just laid into it and it's just stepped right out on him. Obviously, he tried to hook the wheel brake to get the bum to step down and it just didn't happen for him. Bad luck there, Graham. That's 60 points. Norm Hudson and Colin Piper up next. Little Suzuki 410, highly modified. Coming around that corner, he's going to let it have it. Oh, good effort, Colin. On the wheel brakes well there, backing out of it. That's 40 points there. And Ernie and Heidi. Ernie's taking a different line, he's trying to hit up the left. Oh, chuck the wheels in the air. Oh, and he's gone. Unfortunately for Ernie there, he's, he jumped. The front wheels lifted up and then it ran straight into another bang. which just toppled him over. They'll be fine. Their kids enjoying having a bit of lunch. Here's Martin and Philip Walton. Let's see how they go along here. Getting along the bottom, stepping around the bottom. Just getting that right line. He's drifted a little bit there, the rear locker. He's stepping into it. Heading up over the bank. Oh, he's done well. It's landed well, and he's out the top. Zero points for Martin. Well done. Heading over to Hazard 7 now. We're going to check out a Ron and Debbie Sturm. Heading up around this first part of the course. They're going to tuck up over here and then quietly step down. They've got past that bottom peg, which is quite gnarly, heading up to get the blue. Not quite there. 40 points here for Ron. Steve Glenell and Pete Brown, they'll give it a good go. Oh, it's lifted up on him there. He's gone. That's quite a nasty tumble, wheel, up, wheel to wheel. They'll check everything out, check the roll cage out, and it'll all be happy. They'll have another go. Ray Raising and Brent McKenzie having a go at this hazard now. That's, that's a good effort to get across there in that little truck. More of a standard type wagon that, E-Class. Making some fairly large sort of noises underneath there. It's got that rumble rumble uh, noise, checking it out. Okay, next up, Phil Collins and Kerry Collins. Up around the first part, slowing everything. Oh, stopped on him there. Let's see whether the marshal's pinging for a stop. He's going around, trying to hit up into the blues. Unfortunately, they, they pinged him for a stop there. That's 60 points. Pete Murphy and... Uh, oh, looks like the fireman in there. He must be doing a bit of seat whoring. Up around the first tree. Dropping down. Oh, look at that! He's made the tree down! That's unreal. Well done there. <laughs> That's the way, Pete. Blame the co-driver every time. We'll just drag the tree out of the road and carry on. Reuben Mason up next. Heading up around the first part. Four there in this truck. He's got to step it around that red peg to get past that. And then hit along the bottom and turn up to the left and try and get up through these blues. Really gnarly heads of this. He's going to back off. Kids are having a lot of fun. Kevin Dalgetty and Sharon Clark having a go at this hazard next. Looks like he's just going to try and <laughs> just going to try and roll. He tried to stay up there, possibly to take that high line, but it's quite quite deceivingly steep once you get up around that first tree. As you can see, the bottom ties are dug in. 
and then gravity takes over and uh, that's the end of that. Right over and uh, all four wheels sticking up in the air. Let's see if we're going to carry on and just fall on the side. OK, here's Chase Rodder and Graham Jeep Hibbard. Let's see how these guys will attack it. Coming quietly off, trying to slow everything up. Stepped around there and then heading up into these blues. Giving it the full metal jacket, so to speak. Popped up there. Chase got a 40 there. Malcolm McLevy, Glenn Gooden. Up around the tree. Going to try and slow everything up here. Oh, nice. Stepped it down nice. He's got inside that red peg at the bottom. And then he's just going to let it have it. Excellent. Drifting across. He's, oh, he's up and over. The rear lock has tucked him in there and it's just forced him straight over backwards. A little bit of panel damage, but not too bad. Excellent. Good show for the crowd. Went according to plan, not? No, no. Zero was according to plan. And we'll check it out with a GT radio playback. See how the right rear has just tucked and dug a hole and it's just wound him over backwards. Straight over. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Don't go away, we've got more fantastic action coming right back at you. Welcome back to Pokatani, the fourth round of the National Trial Series. Look at that crowd, checking out all the action. Next up, Ray Hill. We've got Hazard 11. Heads up through the trees. This is just a standard Pajero. Nothing fancy in there. Using the standard locker that's in the rear of them. Down into the mud. It's going to let it have it. Plenty of lumps and bumps. Excellent driver, Ray. Across the little ditch there and up into the blues. Awesome drive and another zero. And here's Graham Kingston and Chris Kingston. Let's see how they go through this hazard. Heading up through the trees. Plenty of advice there. Down into that bog. Through there. Supercharged Lexus in this truck. Very, very strong engine. Across there, through the ditch. All he's got to do is get up through the blues here. Laying into it, and another zero. This hazard must be getting too easy. Plenty of crowd checking out Richard Wilson and Robert Greenwood. Heading down, let's see how they go. They've got to get across this. Oh, the fire went out. Bad luck there for Richard. That's 40 points. Craig Hutchison, Brian Hutchison in the uh, the Jeep. White star on the bonnet. Big aggressive to, oh, he's laid into it. Yep, give it a heat. Pops out of the train and he's into it. Back up and a zero. Well done. Next up, Dean Russell heading down through the mud. Little Pajero Jr. Got to get across the ditch. Pick a good line so it doesn't sweep out to the left. Oh, it's caught him. <laughs> right in the cameraman's eye. Be no good. 20 points there for Dean. Next up, Dan Cowper and Dave Hoskin. So I'm just going to cruise around that mud and give it a bit of shit at the end. Oh, sounds good, Dan. Hopefully pop out the blues, eh? Heading up round, heading up the top. He's got to drop down into this bog. As we've seen, they've got a gnarly little drop off into the bog and get this line right. Let's see if Dan can get the line right. Heads down through there, turn right and let it have it. Straight across there, you got that, and straight up through the blues. No problem, well done, Dan. Good to finish with a zero, and even better to start with one. GT Radio playback through the ditch, and straight up through the zero. Excellent, Dan, that's what we all need, zeros. As a 13, the kids just love these events, so just check it out. Oh, here's Dan and Dave checking it out. Heading up, yeah, you come across this face, you drop down, get yourself all sorted out. And then you've got a no, little wall of death to finish. Heading across slowly, Dan picking his line. Up around the top and across. Yeah, and a lovely drive from Dan. No problem. Zero points there. Next up, Stephen Glenell and Pete Brown. Oh, we've got a GT radio playback instead of Dan just doing the end piece. That's nice. Nice, Dan. Okay. Now we're going to check out Steve Glenell and Brownie. Awesome. Coming across the top there. He's going to sneak across this first part of the hazard. Just slow up, go across the bottom, regain their composure, and then they've got this last little piece. Laying into it, look at that. 
awesome across. What a ride in there. No wonder Pete enjoys it so much. Keep on going. Look at that. That's a brilliant GT radio playback for Pete Brown and Steve Liddell. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it's it's improving. Bad. Yeah. We've been over once. If it's a zero, it's improving. Well done, Brownie. OK, we're with Malcolm McLevy. See how the co-pilot, they've got the wheel brakes, independent wheel brakes. Now, they're hooking the top side so the bottom side keeps on driving. You'll see, you'll see the action on those all day long with these guys. Unfortunately, he's clipped the peg there, so that's 20 points for Malcolm. Rightio, Bruce McGregor up next. Here we go, trying to keep up. More of a standard truck, this, in A-Class. It's a standard little Suzuki. He's well done, that first piece, and now he's just going to attack this end piece. Taking a different line, he's actually picked a different line so that he can actually get the points there. Didn't quite get it, so he goes back to the 60. Richard Wilson and Robert Greenwood next. An FJ40 cruiser with a Chevy in it. Cruising along the first part. There again, a bit of top wheel brake just to keep the bottom side driving. Oh, he stepped the bum down quite a lot there. I'm afraid that'll be the end of it. That's 60 points there for Richard. Pierre Lalive and Ray Falcon are next. And the Isuzu Bighorn. He calls it Big Blue Bum. Heading along the first part here. He's got across there well. That's doing really well. Getting his composure right. Heading up for this next part. Laying into it. Wow, well done, mate. That's an awesome drive in a truck. 20 points. F class there. GT radio playback, they just croak. Plenty of momentum at the end. See how he's just clipped those pegs. That's 20 points there for Pierre. Well driven. OK, moving over to Hazard 15. Family checking out all the action. Brilliant. First up, Brian Howard and Skid in there doing the um, co-pilot seat stuff. Cruising along the first part of the Hazard, dropping down, trying to keep above this peg here. Nicely done and then we'll turn left and head up. Finish the rest of the hazard very deep there. This was quite a long hazard, you started up along the top, and then to finish you had a really nasty off-camber turn and head right back round, almost back on yourself to get out the blues. Yeah, nice one, Brian, heading round nicely. Just got to keep the momentum going. It's all about not ceasing forward motion here, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, haven't been here for ages. Good fun. <laughs> We've been enjoying ourselves anyway. We've been having lots of fun. Okay. So that's the main thing. Dead right, Brian. Right. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Brendan James, defending C-Class champ, heading down the first part. See how the soil's got very loose, quite powdery. He's got to stay above that peg. Yeah, he's done that well. Head round to the left, up onto this track, and then you've got a really gnarly turn here to come off the track again. Oh dear, he stalled it. He would not be happy about that one at all. He can't even blame his co-pilot there. That's 20 points there for Brendan. Les Unkovich up next. Cruising along, coming down this first part. They've got to get it back up out of here. And it's getting very, very soft in there. Coming around, he's trying to get it around. It's not looking good for him. Unfortunately, that's 60 points there for Les. Neil Knudsen coming down that same spot. Let's see if Neil can make it up around here. Keep the momentum going. That's it, Neil. Yes, well done. Up to the top. Keep it going, mate. Keep it going. Keep it going. Let some wheel brakes go. Unfortunately, a little bit too much probably wheel brakes here. They need to keep the momentum up. <laughs> Kids having a ball. Let's see how Pete Osborne does it. Coming down here. Cruising along the bottom. Trying to keep that momentum up. You step it around now. Get off the... Yeah, that's it. Keep that momentum up, Pete. Yeah, well done. Up around the top, he's got the nasty little bit to go next. So we're cruising along here, he's got to turn hard right and then head almost back on himself to get up. You can see the blues are directly in front of us here. He's cruising around, good wheel brakes, good application, keeping the momentum up and he's through the blues. That's a zero. I don't believe I got around there. No lockers, open dips, Mudzilla's, good tyres, can't beat them. Awesome. I can't wait to see what happens next. I bet you can't either, don't go far. Welcome back to Suzuki Extreme 4x4. We're here in the Bay of Plenty. Moving over to Hazard 23. It's a non-graded hazard. So it's 20 points for every peg that you take, but the secret to these is you have to get out the end or you get 100, and that's what we don't want. 
heading over. So Seth Pete's taken out the first one. That's 20. He's got up above the next one. That's well done. Heading along. Now there's quite a gnarly little jink around here. So that's 20 points. It's a real case of uh, just making a decision and saying, right, I'm just going to take that peg and get the 20 and head off to the next one. Only way to go. Ryan Bold and Lane Jones, they've clipped the first one. They're going to take the next one and head off to the next hazard. 40 points. Sometimes a lot better to do that than try and get 100. It's just no good at all. OK, next up, Brent Ward and Mark Smith in their uh, home boot with Mudzillas. Let's see how they attack it. He's a bit of a loud pedal man, this guy, so it might be quite exciting. 20 points, 40 points, heading along here. He's just got to get out the end to get his points. Oh, he's hit the tree there, carrying up. Oh, the, oh, the fire went out. Well, that's 100, he will not be happy about that. Andrew Graham and Ron Kelly. Excellent competitor, Andrew. Very, very good peddler in this truck. Beautifully prepared. Kelly's, Kelly's high sponsor there. He's up around the peg, that's 20 points. And he's out the end, nah, brilliant drive. Yeah, these non-graded hazards, a lot of the time, you just take your points and head to the next one. Moving over to hazard 25, this is a really gnarly hazard here. Let's see how Ernie and Heidi Schicker attack it. Coming down, they've got to head across the face and up through this gut. He's got to lay into it here to get the momentum up. Yeah, that's the one, Ernie. Give it heaps, mate. Up through the tree, you're getting good bite here. This should be up onto the track. Oh, it's just caught him up there. Oh, he made one mistake and I should have really pulled him over here to throw it a bit of another. But we're just getting used to the um, modern conditions here. It's a little bit sandy and quite soft. Dead right, Ernie. As Ernie was saying, it's soft and sandy, so you need the momentum. You can't cut square. You've got to keep momentum up, almost pick a line where you can drive across things and keep the momentum up. Momentum's the key and a lot of wheel speed. Martin heading down into the bottom here and he's going to light it up. Trying to get it, see how soft it is, just not, just not getting the momentum that he usually would. But it's excellent, he's up onto the track, and now he's just got to let the wheels ride up and then let it have it. Very, very loamy soil, you notice how the back wheel just dug a big hole. Yeah, look at this, just straight up through the trees. And up on top, all four wheels getting a good bite there. Let the front wheels ride up and then lay into it. That's the only way up those banks. Quite tricky. <laughs> Want to keep over to Dan wind, Cowper and Dave Hoskin. So, got to get around the first corner in a high gear and then use the momentum to get up the rest. So could turn to custard very easily. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds like a plan to me, Dan. Heading down the first part. As you said, he's got to keep the momentum up, the soft saw. Let's see how he goes here. Down the first part, round this peg. And here we go, make the momentum up. He's up through the trees. Awesome. Yep, getting a good bite, laying into it. Just stepping over to the left here, popping the front wheels up. And that's an excellent effort from Dan Cowper and Dave Hoskin there. Yep, no, it's about the best we thought we'd do, so um, yeah, real happy with that. We're... Okay, checking out Hazard 27. To start, there's a bit of a sidling to begin with, and then you can go around each side of a humongous flax bush. Got to keep your momentum up here. And here's Graham Kingston and Chris Kingston heading across. Oh, laying into it. Doesn't that sound fantastic? And that thing squirts a fair amount of stuff out the back. 20 points there. Norman Hudson next. Heading across. He's picked the top line, heading up past that. Oh, a bit of a miss in the engine. Carry on. Keep it going. Keep it going. He's heading up around the side there. Excellent, Norman. 20 points. Dan Barnett. Oh, look at him surveying the situation. And off he goes. Around the first bit. Oh, look, momentum. Heaps of it. <laughs> That bang bang sounded like dollars dollars to me. Checking out the front of Terry DeGraw up next. He stepped down. He's going around the other side here to get a better line straight up the hook line. Squeaking around nicely, using the falls there. And then this thing has got some serious mumbo. Back up. Yes, and he's over. Roly poly Terry. Well, it's his line, not mine. Blame the navigator, that's always the way to go. Excellent spot there. And straight over. He got past the 20 though, so he'll be happy. Paul Taylor up next, one of the organisers. Did a lot of work. Hope he's enjoying his day. Taking the top side, cutting across, yeah, good line. And back up into the, oh, excellent effort there from Paul. 20 points. 
Chris Conlon and Linda Dalberg next. Going around the bottom side by the looks. Yeah, getting a straight line on this hill climb. He's going to let it have it. Straight up through the air. Oh, nice one. Excellent. That's a zero. Well done. That's the only one we've seen. Yeah, GT Radio. Look out. It's just riding over the bumps nicely. Getting a really good bite and up through the blues. That's a zero. That's what we want. Hey, Nana, can we have a look at the winner? Let's have a look at this week's winner of the PBM Brand X moment. This week's PBM Brand X moment goes to Pete Murphy and Phil Fireman for his excellent effort here. You take the tree out for us. You ain't that now, Didn't go to plan, did it? Go pilot, Go pilot, these guys sticking in true crusherdealer.com style. And have a look at this, just peeling out this tree. Excellent stuff. Well done, guys. <laughs> what do you reckon, Chase? I reckon those horses will be able to handle the hazards better than some of you drivers. Oh, that might be an interesting contest. <laughs> Talking about contests, we've got our competition question for this week to win the fantastic Jimny. The question is, what was the name of the club who hosted this, the fourth round of the national trials? And if you missed the question, go to our website, complete the form, press send, and you'll be in to win. Dub 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 Suzuki Extreme TV. Remember, you can enter as many times as you like. I think that's us for this week. Sure, let's horse off. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome. Suzuki Extreme TV is specially made for the 4x4 enthusiast. We bring you all the action from club events and trolls. Hi, Vanessa. Hey, Chase. How you going? Good. Today we're in Fakatane, and we're going to see later in the show who the winner is of this fantastically organised event. The president of the club is Mark Lumpskin. Lumpskin? I just call him Mark. Just Mark. <laughs> <laughs> we learned last week that the Eastern Bay's Twin Diff Club spent an entire year setting up these hazards to make sure that they were really fair for everyone in all the different classes for the opportunity of the best outcome. In New Zealand we love, well within our club definitely, we love building our own trucks. It's all about getting an old wreck, putting a roll cage in it, beefing up the motor, putting fat tyres on it and just going as hard as you want. It's full driving mate, it's the world over, we all love it. Captain Cook got it just right, naming this place the Bay of Plenty. Absolutely beautiful area, lots to do. Kayaking, canoeing, anything you really want. But all the action today is from the 4 before trial. Absolutely. So why don't you go and get ready, and we're going to see who the first competitor is. OK, first hazard of the afternoon, we're at hazard two. First up, Stephen Goodell and Pete Brown. Getting along, they've got to get across this little face here, and then you just wait, there's a really steep siding to carry on with further along. Cruising along here, doing quite well. Up around the first peg. Yeah, well done. Now check out the siding. Really steep there. Well done, Pete. Zero points. Big F-Class cruiser now, FJ40, with a Chevy in it. Donald Byer. Heading along, he's got it. He's got, looks like he's going to take this first peg. That's 20 points. Oh, he doesn't want to take too much of a bite there. Keep it going. You've got to gain, gain that momentum. If you cease forward motion, that's the end of that. Cruising along. Let's see how he handles the sidling. Keeping it nice and quiet. Oh, he's flagged it. It's very, very steep along there. He's just pulled out of the side. That's 100 points for Donald. Dean Foster up next. He's got past the first part now, he's got to sneak along here without rolling this. 
He's hooking it again, and here it goes. Yeah, keep it going. Oh, he's gone. That's the end of that. He's rolled out of the hazard, 100 points. They'll check the roll cage out, and they'll be in it again. Next up, Linen Hall. Let's see how he manages it. Look at that, taking a different line, trying to go right up around the top to miss that first peg. He's got to keep it in it here. Oh, it's hooked up to the left on him. Yeah, unfortunately, that's 100 points. It's a terrible thing about these non-graded hazards. You have to get out the end. Terry to Graw up next. Oh, easily past the first peg. Now he's just got the, the sidle to negotiate. Nice and easily along there. Well driven, Terry. Zero points to there. Crossing over to Hazard 4. First up, Brendan James and Scott Richmond. Just setting his tyre pressures to get the best possible traction for this hazard. First part of it, you cruise along, and then you've got to around a tree and up a really gnarly little sidling and then back up again. Let's see how he goes. One in the morning, so he's just got to keep that momentum going in the afternoon here. He's up round, he's got, to, he's got to keep up high here. Oh yeah, good bite there, and now he's got to turn left and head up into the blues. Keep it going here, keep it going. Unfortunately, it's just drifted across on him. That's 10 points, that's a pretty good effort for Brendan there. Next up, Martin Phillip in the Cook's entry. Let's see how he attacks this hazard. Quite easy in the first part of it, then you've got to around this tree and then it, it all happens from there on in. We're taking you right inside the driver's seat to just see exactly how these guys work inside these vehicles. Stepped across, oh man, that's lifted right up and he saved it. That's a good save from Martin there. Next up, Ryan Bold and Lane Jones. Now, if you want to get into it, this truck's for sale, so uh, go and trade me. Give Ryan a ring and you can just buy it and come in, come in at the fun that we all have. Round the corner here, laying on the brakes, trying to step up that side. Oh, he's got over there, nice. Yeah, feeding it to it. I don't know what happened there. He had the bang on line. All he had to do was drive out the blues. Never mind. Carrying along, Pete Freeman next. Cruising along the bottom side. May use the full steer to get up round. So notice that. Get up round a nice tight line on the peg. And he's over through the trees. And he's over, all right. He's over and wheels to wheel. Not quite. Yeah, Pitiful effort. Sweet ears, how's your leg, Here we go with the GT Radio playback right from inside the truck. You'll just be, this will be a graphic example of what it's like to fall over. <laughs> Pushing it back on its wheels, so I'll check the guys out. Sure it's safe so he can carry on with this rally. Yeah. Is this a standard procedure? Yeah, standard procedure. Every roll over. Well done. Keith Barrable, one of the officials. Attacking it. Way to go. Straight across for Greg Mason. Round the corner. Let's see how he goes across this face here. Right inside the vehicle and he's gone again. This is a becoming of oh look, he smashed something. Oh no, that's his helmet. Round the corner here, and it's just tucking over on him, and that's the end of that. Straight down, wheels to wheels, nice one, guys. There again, they'll check the cage and carry on. Ten points there for Greg. Bugger. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Oh, Put a damage in the front there. Malcolm McLevy up next. Heading across the bottom. And they're really going to have to pedal across this face. You've actually got to come around the tree here and actually turn more left than you really need. Oh, yeah, nice one. He's crossed there. Keep it going, Malcolm. Turn left. Yeah, awesome drive. He's got the hook. Straight up. That's a zero. Well done. Is there anyone that's been any good with the camera in it? Oh, good stuff, Malcolm. Don't go away. We're going to be right back after this. Welcome back to Suzuki Extreme 4x4. Today, we're in the fourth round of the National Series at Fokatani. Let's move over and check out the action at Hazard 6. Paul Taylor up first. Quite an interesting hazard, quite a steep little siding to start, drop into a hole and then you've got to go straight over and then into, oh and he's gone already. That's a gnarly little roll there. They'll push it back on its wheels and check out what's happening. Wayne and Amy Nickel up next. Heading across the first part, negotiated that well. Some really interesting footage here, you can see just how the suspension's working in these trucks. He's got to turn hard right now. This is quite gnarly here. Very steep and very soft loamy soil. Oh, yeah, give it the slipper and straight out the blues. That's 20 points. He just clipped the last blue, unfortunately. <laughs> what an effort from Dan Barnett. Just giving it the full, full treatment there. Well done, Dan. Phil getting his belts tight. Phil Bayless. 
and Todd Charman up next. Yeah, traversing across there, lifting a wheel, and he's gone. Bad luck, not enough wheel break from Todd there, obviously. Oh, we'll blame him anyway. Let's see how the next guy goes. Dean Russell up next. They're all smiling. Phil Bayless wondering what happened. Oh, he's gone too. This is catching a lot of people this first part of this hazard. They've got a lot to do yet. Here we go with Martin Walter inside the truck. Got to get past the snaily pit where most people have rolled. He's past that, heading it up and over the top. And then a hard right hand turn halfway down this hill. It feels really bad coming down here. Yeah, well driven. Zero points for Martin. Awesome. That's what we want. That's the zero. There's the GT radio playback. Through the blues, and that's what we need. A big zero. Rightio, has it eight. And with Brent Ward and Mark Smith from Wairapa, they're in their home ball. Cruising along the first part of this, tucking up over there, missing out the peg. You've got to sneak along the top, drop around, and then a hard left hand turn and back up into the blues again. Just quietly taking it across there to miss that red peg. Yeah, he snuck around that all right. Now he's just got to keep the momentum up here and try and squirt. Oh, lift it up, but he's tucked it down well, turning around, and now he's got to just feed it the fat and give it heaps. He's up around, it's hooked out to the left, and unfortunately caught on that 10, that tree there. Pretty immovable object. 20 points. Uh, it's better than 100. <laughs> Wayne Weatherly next. F Class FJ40 Cruiser. Scotty sitting, pulling the wheel brakes for Wayne. Oh, he's got bellied out there, unfortunately. Wayne won't be happy about that. 80 points there. Neville and Brett Dunton. Let's see how they get on. Yeah, uh, give it a bit of gas. Make sure you don't get caught up. Yeah, the end of this has it's quite gnarly and you haven't got a very good entry onto it. He's tucked around there nicely, just quietly sneak around the peg, but unfortunately it's washed out and he's outside the course. That's 40 points for Neville. Can you guys just wait Norman here? Hudson, cruising along here. Let's see how Norman goes. Will anyone get the zero on this hazard? It's such a hard entry to get onto that final. Oh, look, he's got caught in that same first rut. He won't be happy about that. 80 points there for Norman. Andrew Graham and Ron Kelly. This is a Cowley's truck all the way from Fongaray. Oh, that's the one. Keep it going. Now we just got to cruise across here. Let's see how it attacks the end here, Andrew. Keeping it nice and quiet to keep above the peg. Yeah, nice driving. Nice and slow. Picking the right line, keeping that momentum right. Tucking around. Let's see. Let it have it. Oh, it's got a bit of a bite. Carrying it up through. That's excellent. 10 points. He got the 10 points. Not many people have got to there. Rightio, has it 18. First up, Martin and Philip Walton in the Cook's entry. It's a D-class truck, so basically the only constriction on here is the tyre size, which is 35 by 14 and a half, and you're allowed any engine above six to eight cylinder. So um, pretty much the world's your oyster here. Cruising along the first part, tucking around, and then there's a hill climb to finish. Cross a little bit of a ditch. Let's see how he goes up this hill climb. Quite soft in the end, he's headed straight for the ruts. You could actually drive out of the ruts and make it a little bit easier, but excitement value, excellent. 10 out of 10 for that. Next up, Ray Raisin and Brent McKenzie. Little E-class Suzuki. Only allow one set of wheel brakes at one end, either front and rear. Heading up the hill. Unfortunately got over into those lumps. Donald Byer next. Big Chevy in the FJ40 Cruiser. Let's see how he goes. Yeah, good stuff. Good momentum. Keeping that power going. You can see that soft soil. As soon as you lose momentum, those tyres just dig holes, and that's where you stay. 20 points for Donald. Les Unkovich and a little C-class Suzuki. Not as much weight on the ground, so it shouldn't dig as much. He's keeping good momentum up there. Yeah, nice one. He's out the top. That's a zero. Excellent. Has a 20. Quite a long one. Let's see how Dean Wells attacks it. Look at that thing climb up the hill there. Brilliant. He's got to drop up around the top, and then there's quite an early bog to get out the end here. Dropping down. Let's see how he goes through this bog. He's just got a headlong into it. Good fun, these big bogs. Look at the mud in there. Really churning away, working at the wheel. 
Just everything going well. And that's a zero. Well done, Dean. Awesome. Dwayne and Ange meet up next. Let's see how they go through this bog. It's a really big bog of the day. A lot of fun, these bogs. You just get in there and you can just unleash, unleash it and see what happens. Round out. Oh, look at that. He's into it. Full noise. Keep it going. Keep it going. Work on that wheel. Get him around. He's, look at that. He's still getting a bite. He's round. Through there. Yeah, oh, that's a zero. That's another zero. Brilliant for Dwayne. We've got too much petrol on board. We're trying to lighten the load. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. Mike G. Taylor and John Hawkins up next in the little E-Class Suzuki. This has got a fair bit of power in this thing, a turbocharged SR20 engine. You'll have to light it up to get through this bog here. Really keep the momentum up. Turning around, hooking up, picking the right line, and let's go. He's into it. Keep it going. Work on that wheel, Mike. Do everything you can to get through these bogs. You just kind of keep on going until the marshal says stop. Good effort from Mike, 20 points there, just caught him up. Oh yeah, look at that, full power. This thing sounds magnificent. Supercharged Lexus V8. It's got a ton of grunt, let's see how he goes. In there, listen to this thing slide up. Oh yeah, doesn't that just put a horn on a jellyfish? Straight out, that's zero points there for uh, Graham Kingston. Awesome stuff. Chris Tomlin up next, and this thing sounds equally as nice. Brilliant, 383 Chevy in here. Linda Dalberg pulling on the brakes, and he just lights it up. Yeah, brilliant, let that mud fly. Brilliant, straight through and round, and that's a zero. Brilliant stuff. Okay, now we've got some F-class trucks. Let's see how they go through this mud here. Heading down the hill, he will turn around. Scotty will put him around on the wheel brakes, get that right line, and then he's just into it, headlong. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Those V8 sound brilliant, don't they? Heading through. Keep it going, Wade. Keep it going. Pumping the throttle. Just trying to work it. That's 20 points. Full bailers up next. F-Class truck again. Another FJ40. 302 Ford. Good spin around. Good momentum. Keep it going, Phil. Keep it going. Work on it. Almost sounded like the fire went out there. Still happy, though. 20 points for Phil. Right, Shane Mason and Rebecca Nolan. Working their way up. Oh, they got caught there. Oh, that's 90 points. That's not good. This hill's... Look how dug out it's got. Alan Simon, Ray Brown next. Up around the top. Alan will use a fair bit of the old uh, jandal here, I would say, in this bog hole. Oh, he's into it. That sounds glorious. Flicking mud everywhere. Straight through, and that's another zero there. Well done, Alan. Cruising around. Flicking the mud off. Yeah, not too bad. A few more zeros, that's what we need. Richard Wilson, Robert Greenwood. Big Chevrolet powered FJ40. He's up around that gnarly hole there. Keep it going, mate. Keep it going. Up around the top. Keep that thing going. Yeah, that's well done. Keep it up around the top. Now he's just got to drop down. We'll see how he goes through the bog. Come on, mate. Have some fun. Let it have it. Yeah, that's the stuff. Ooh, got a gnarly hole there. Popped on his side. Yeah, we're not too bad, but I'm quite pleased with it. I wanted to get up that hill just so I can get the truck there to get my navigator dirty as well. So, yeah, yeah, we're really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Heading through now, Wayne Osmond and Lynn White. Now, we're just going to take you right inside and just see how much fun these guys really do have in these bogs. And this thing has got some serious mumbo, I'll tell you. Oh, look at that. Just straight through it like there was nothing there. Should have made the deep bog deeper for him. Lovely drive there by Wayne. Zero point. Don't go away. We're going to be right back after this. Welcome back to Suzuki Extreme 4x4. We're here in beautiful Whakatane for round four of the national trials. OK, track 22 up next. It's the big hill climb of the day. The widow maker, we could call it. Let's see how Phil Cameron goes. Some big bumps at the top of here. Playing and oh, the front end goes up in the air. That'll be the end of it for Phil. 40 points. Good effort. Here we go. Dean Russell up next. Let's see how he handles these bumps. Little Pajero Jr., not a lot of power to play with. Just got to pick a good line. He got to the 40 as well. Good effort. Wayne and Amy Nickel up next. Wayne sussing out the bumps, picking the line. Ah, oh, listen to this thing light up. This has got some serious gas, this thing. 
straight up. And that's zero points for Wayne and Amy. Brilliant stuff. Look at the stuff here. GT Radio playback. The suspension just working beautifully, riding over those big bumps, keeping the momentum up. Excellent stuff. Well done. James Harmon next and Paul Clark heading up. It's got really soft at the bottom of it, and these bumps have just got bigger and bigger. Oh, excellent effort, Wayne. 20 points there. Shannon Wellman, Richard Verner next. They've lit the litmus paper on this thing. Oh, look at that thing. All four wheels off the deck. Excellent. Total disregard for your truck, but well done, mate. Zero points. <laughs> Only way to go. Pierre Lalieve and Renee Falconer. We've got the blue big bum going up the hill here. Heading up. Well done. Good effort. F-class truck. This pretty standard. Wheel brakes at one end. Well done. Carrying over to Hazard 28. We've got Nathan Fogden and Graham Payton up next. Little A-class Suzuki. Got a head up. This is quite an early has quite long. Heading over the first part. Whoa, look at that. And he's over. Clipped the 80. He got past the 80 peg with his front wheel, but clicked it with the rear and then rolled it. They'll check it out. Pretty good effort on a little truck like that. Steve Thomason. E-class truck now. They've got wheel brakes, basically. That's the only difference between them and an A-class. Unfortunately, just didn't have the momentum to get over that top part. And he'll have an 80 points, same as uh, Nathan there. Chase Rodder and Graham G. Hibbert up next. Over the first pass, past the 80 peg, that's good. Now they've got to come around the end of this is real gnarly. Let's see how they go. Quietly sneaking along. You can see Jeep pulling on the top wheel brakes to keep the bottom wheels driving. Keeping it going, picking a good line. Now they've got to squirt it up this hill. Unfortunately, got caught there. 10 points, pretty good effort. Nita, this would be an awesome rally site. I've already pegged out about 40 hazards. It'd be pretty good. I don't know what uh, Osh would have to say about it, all the, all the uh, successful contract with Fulton Hogan. And now this week's PVM Brand X moment. Okay, come with me and check out the action of Martin and Philip Walton up this particular hazard. It's a non-graded hazard, but look at the effort that that guy is putting in. He's doing that just to get this PBM Brand X moment jacket. He's been trying time and time again to get it, doing some fantastic feats all around the country. And finally today, we're gonna to give it to Martin and Philip. Look at that front end just throwing up in the air. It's absolutely magnificent. They are trying so hard to do it, and good on them for winning the PBM Brand X moment jacket. With the soil today, the moment you stopped and tried to put your foot down, you just dug holes. So in other words, you had to have momentum just to keep the track going. As soon as you eased off too much, it was all over. So good for the spectators, plenty of sky, aiming hard, you know, aiming hard up the hills. Thank you all for sending in your letters and emails. We love to hear from you, so don't stop. OK, Vanessa, what do you worked out for a question today? Um, I've got one, I've got one. Who named the Bay of Plenty? Chase said it earlier today. Who was the person who gave this beautiful area the name the Bay of Plenty? You can send your answers to Suzuki Extreme, PO Box 259297, Greenmount 2141, or just jump on our website, www.suzukiextreme.tv. OK, here's the class winners. A class, Craig Potter first. C class, Brennan James. Martin Walden carried on, took out D class. E class was taken out by Mike G. Taylor. And F class taken out by Graham Kingston. First overall was Martin Walden. Coming up second was Dan Cowper. And third overall was Brennan James and C class. For, from our perspective, we need to just get ahead of Dan pretty much in the, in the next three rallies. It's, it's tight competition. Really, it was just nailing a few of those uh, non-graded hazards. We, we normally have a tendency to, to either go great or, or uh, get the full maximum penalty points. So um, we were wrapped with that. Oh, I think the most important thing for us is to stay in front of old uh, Martin Walton. Um, he seems to be the guy that's sort of hanging around our points range at the moment. It was dry as it was. It was, uh, it was a very dry powder and uh, when you sat on it, you could slip off easily and our uh, traction wasn't easy. So, uh, yeah, no, you had to be pretty on your game here. Today, uh, I actually said that this last season we've been a lack of sidelings, which we enjoy. Um, today there was a lot of them and uh, we pulled them off. That's it for this week. Chase, can we jump in the gymney and get out of here? Sure thing. Give me a hand. Sweet. Ugh. See you next week.